What's up, my dudes? Welcome back to another Skater XL video. Today, I'm going to be going over the five essential uh, hacks or tricks, things you need to know if you're playing Skater XL on console. Okay, so number number one, pretty easy, pretty standard. You probably already figured this out, but it's low pop and high pop. Okay, so if you're doing tricks, you can do them two different ways. Uh, you hold your back foot down, and that's going to give you a standard ollie. If you hold both stick down, both sticks down, that's gonna give you a bigger ollie. So that's your high pop, okay? So when you're trying to get on those big ledges, this is what you're gonna wanna do. The little stuff, if you wanna make it a little more realistic, you do your low pops, okay? Low pops are great for making things look a little bit more realistic. Uh, that way you're not aggressively high popping, you know, into everything. You see how, how he like jumped super high there. But really I could just be like that. Boom, get a low pop and then pow. So that is the, that's the first one. That's the first one, okay? Number two, number two, popping out of grinds, okay? So let's say you have a grind, you're doing a crook, but you wanna pop out early. But you don't wanna ollie out, cause that's gonna look weird, right? Or not weird, but like, say you wanted it to be not as aggressive, okay? So depending on which way you wanna pop out, you could click in your R3, see, see, the, see how they're lighting up there? I'm clicking in R3 and L3. So depending on which way you want to pop out, that's what you press. So I'm going to get into a nose grind here and pop out. You see how he just popped out that way? I can get like, let's see, let's get like a heel flip tail slide and then we're just going to pop out. Okay, that, that was bad. Let's, let's do it again. All right. So like a little heel flip tail, pop out early, pow. Get my fakie flip on. So yeah, when you're in grinds, and when you're on like transition, clicking R3 and L3 is gonna give you that that pop back off. And then for transition stuff, it'll give you that like uh that like the drop back and like see if I can get it. See if I can do like a nose stall here. Okay. And I click in R3, boom, it's gonna drop me back in. So it's it's the ability to to not pop off of grinds, but it like I don't know, hops you off of the grind, so to say. Uh it's it's just I think it looks a little bit more realistic, especially when you're doing uh, you know, stuff like this. I love that. That's sick. You could even do it for board slides. It was kind of weird. <laughs> okay. I think that was a backsmith. That wasn't weird. That was dope. All right. Number three. Number three. This is this is probably one of my favorite ones. When I learned this, this was only available on the beta, not even on the real one, but it's reverts. You see that backside flip? See that right there? My backside ollies in real life, they revert just like that because I can't get fully around. But how you do that is by clicking both sticks in. Okay, or pulling both sticks out. See how he does that? And now if you do that while holding, hitting the trigger, you know, in either way, that's gonna give you a full revert, okay? So like you can do that for stuff like if you wanted to do a 360, you wanted to finish that rotation, you could throw in a revert there. You can do a backside flips, pow, late, uh, late 180, or like you can do like a shove it, late 180 sort of thing, get that revert in. It just gives you the ability to add that extra like, oops. <laughs> To add that extra sauce in your tricks, you know, you just throw it around, pow, no big deal, pow, boom. <laughs> so reverts, reverts are dope. Reverts also help for the transition skating too. Like if you're going over here, I'm, and I'm super bad at this, so I'm gonna try my best, but look, check it out. You can like revert into, like that, just like that. So yeah, if you do them both, you'll just do a little 50-50, so I'll just do that, or not. That's perfect. Here, watch, check this out. Check it out. Pow. And then we're pop. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do it again. Go up here, my reverts. Oh, I popped in the wrong way. See how like, I clicked in? So I wanna click in with my blue foot. Okay. Boom, so you're able to get that. Boom. Okay, number four catching uh with your front foot or back foot i don't know if you know how to do this that's also the r3 and l3 so say you're doing a steezy three flip boom he catches it with both feet that's not how it really go down pimping you know it's going to be the front foot catch so you hold it down you do it then you click in r3 you see that that was a very that was kind of gross but like if i get all the way around boom i'm catching it with that front foot you see that and that's me by that's me clicking in R3 for me, it's gonna be L3 for you, uh, for you regular skaters. You know what? And I can do an L3 catch it with my back foot. That'd be a little weird, but we can do it. Um, but you know, like, like, okay, like for instance, like Andrew Reynolds, he does those front side flips, right, with the backs with the back foot catch, mm, which is just mm, chef's kiss. But like, 
Let's do one of those, okay? So we're gonna do a frontside flip with a Reynolds back foot catch. That was a little sketch sauce. All right. Okay, that's not, all right, here it goes. So you can do like a frontside flip. Ah, I over-rotated. You get what I mean. It's, it's tricky. There's a lot of things going on. Then you could do like maybe a backside flip. Boom, did you see that? So he caught it with this. All right, so look, let's go into the replay editor so you can see that. Catch, catch, pow. And that's me clicking in the back foot first, then the right foot first. And it's, it's pretty, it's tricky, right? Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's easy, but it adds that extra little flavor, that, that pizzazz, you know what I mean? Like you want to season your steak. You don't want it just bland, right? Is that a good analogy? You guys like steak? My vegans out here, you, you don't, you want to season your cauliflower, right? <laughs> All right, cool. Number three, number three, what am I doing? Number five, five, last one here. All right, switch and nollie are the same thing, okay? Just like, kind of like in real life. Like for instance, if I was to do a nollie flip, check out my stance here. So I got my nollie foot going, boom, nollie flip, okay? The way I'm doing that, I'm holding up, and flicking it over. Now, if I'm switch, if I do a switch flip, that's gonna be the same movement as a nollie flip. So it's a little bit confused. Whoa, switch hard flip, that look, dang, those switch hard flips look freaking clean. That's not what I was trying to do though. But like a switch flip, that's just gonna be the same thing as a nollie flip, the same as like a nollie heel flip. You know, they're the same controls. You understand what I'm saying by that? By like, you're doing the same stick inputs or switch as you are nollie. And switch has that, it has that like switch look to it, which for me, if you do something switch, like a switch three flip, right? Mm. It looks so good because your player looks like he's actually skating switch, but lands it super steezy, which gives you that like that. I don't know that. I don't know. You've seen the switch skaters that do stuff and it looks super clean and it's switch and it's oh, it's just so good. So, yeah, don't get me wrong. A regular three flips dope, but a switch three flip. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I just think it looks better. That's just me. So understanding that, see how I high popped that? That was that was doo-doo right there. That's why you don't want to high pop into everything. See how that, that like, I did like a nollie flip into a crook or a fakie flip and it didn't look good. But if I do it with a low pop, I know I'm kind of going all over the board here. I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's going on? There we go. Now, if I do it low pop, looks a lot better you see i combined all that i low popped into it i got in and i used my r3 to pop out a little bit early and finish that rotation and added a little tiny bit of reverb to finish the rest of the way that was like all of the things that i taught you into one and i know that's a lot to take in do one thing at a time honestly just cruising getting those reverts those are just fun man and that's another way to like if you're going super fast and you're trying to get lines use your reverb to slow you down a little bit you know what i mean I'm going to slow down because I want to hit this back nose blunt. Well, back ollie over it. I went a little too far. Oh, bonus, bonus, bonus. Number six. Here we go. Number six. He said, I remember one. He's like, how can I get a full rotation around? Like, I feel like I'm not spinning fast enough. I feel I, I, I dealt with that too. And I had to look it all up. Here it goes. So when you're doing a high pop, this only works for high pop. You see how I'm holding the triggers and he's winding up when you do that that's going to give you that full rotation right so like you can get a full 360 low popping but you're going to have to get a revert in right now if you want a full 360 without it you're going to want to wind up and that's by just high popping and holding the triggers rt and lt in whichever direction that you want to go and uh and that's it a oh, bing bang boom guys Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying Skater XL. It's like my favorite game in the whole world right now. Um, and if you want to see me play, I play every Tuesday and Thursday on Twitch. Uh, that's twitch.tv slash props to guys. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. If you're enjoying the content, please hit that like button, drop the people's elbow on the sub button. Uh, I don't know what else you got to do to desecrate the bell. I don't know. You ring my bell, ring a bell. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a professional YouTuber. We're working on it. But guys, again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace.